So, big breaking news here. My friend Dara, my good friend Dara, a maid says a major update is coming to Uber's app, and the company's CEO says it wants to be the operating system of your life, right? You're going to use our operating system, and it's going to basically control your life. Excuse the sarcasm here, folks. Here we go. There he is. Um, really never see the guy smile, but if I look at the interface here, hey, what are you looking for today? Rides, eats, transit, bikes, grocery, blah, blah, blah. This actually should have been done long ago, right? Why spend all the money um, building on the Uber Eats, building on the rides when you know this is in the pipeline, right? So again, I think it's a, it's a step too late. I think this could have been at least done one or two years ago. You had all of these apps in operation, but you, you kept on pouring in money to build out that app, build out that app. Why not look into the future, right? And, and know that, hey, we have all these services. We have scooters, we have this, we have rides, we have eats. Let's consolidate so that when the user, the rider, for example, the passenger is on the platform, they have multiple choices. Any brainiac could have seen this coming in the future. I just ask myself, why would they pour millions and upon millions and have this Uber Eats engineering team, this Uber Eats scooter team, this Uber, sorry, this Uber scooter team, this Uber ride team, money, money, money spent when, hey, this is coming, right? And they could have easily introduced this two years ago. So Dara, nice idea, a little too late in my eyes. Uh, let's read a little bit about this and this and guys, I'm going to go live fairly soon just now. Um, I, I see that the Uber stock is under 30 and we have to connect with the public and show them why the stock is under 30 and there have to be things done to start driving the stock price up right with our help. At an event in San Francisco on Thursday morning, Uber CEO, my good friend Dara K unveiled the new vision for the ride hailing giant, which will result in a major overall of its app. A major overall usually means major money is going to be spent. We want to be the operating system of your life. Maybe of the public life, but it's going to be hard to be the operating system of the driver's life because the trust is simply not there. That means bringing all of Uber's disparate projects, including food delivery, transit passes, e-bikes, all under one roof in one unified app. I mean, I like the idea and it will work, right? That means um, Derek Kay said the company is testing the new experience in nine countries around the world, but did not specify when the update is expected to launch or if it would be coming to the United States. So from the sounds of things, you know, maybe they're testing it in Brazil, maybe they're testing it in Europe. Um, in one or two Asian countries, hey, if this works, let's bring it to the United States. So Uber is definitely getting a makeover. Um, I mentioned already, you know, he said we want to be the operating system of your life. That means bringing all of the apps together. For now, an Uber spokesman said the services users can choose from will be limited to Uber Eats and rides. In the future, the company may include other services as well. If you're doing this, I would start thinking about building a platform instead of building something and then fixing it later, right? Or adding to it later. Build something that you can educate the riders on now. Hey, here is the wide range. Here are the wide range of opportunities. Use them or make use of them, right? Within the new Uber experience, instead of being immediately launched into a map, to request a ride, users will be forced to make a decision. Do you want a ride? Do you want to uh, see food delivery options near you? I think that'll work. Uber will be testing the new experience in nine countries, as I said. Um, but the US may not see the new experience right away. So the new app overall comes as Uber announced a slew of safety updates on Thursday, including a four-digit PIN system for riders to make sure they are getting into the right car with the right driver. So I'll be making a video about that as well. 
Uber is also updating its facial recognition technology to help ensure its verified drivers are indeed the ones driving. The update also comes just two days after its ride-sharing counterpart Lyft announced a redesign to its app as well. Lyft, which doesn't have a food delivery service, focused its new app experience on su suggesting alternative travel methods to a car like a bike, a scooter, or a public transit. Now, all of that is fine. Um, I can see that truly working, people using that, right? But I just question why they're doing this in drips and drabs. Surely, knowing that you have all of these services, you could have two years ago already seen into the near future and started building this versus trying something out now in nine countries, adding a little bit later and then coming to the US. So I've done a lot of beta testing with my teams, right? Um, you know, has Uber maybe missed the boat on this? Will Lyft speed it up? I mean, you saw Lyft already came out with alternatives and that forced their hand. So they have to follow suit very, very quickly. So I, I don't know what executive decisions are made there, but I, I question them very often. Like I said, my good friend Dara, he obviously has a little trick up his sleeve. And um, I will always, always keep you posted on this channel about the latest and greatest news. If you want to join Uber and Lyft, please sign up right below underneath my link, lock in the highest guarantee and bonus. If you have joined Uber and you forgot to put in a referral code, you can still do it retroactively. I show you step by step how to do it below. Please subscribe, please like the video. Um, hit that little button in the corner so that you get updates on my new videos. I'm the Rideshare Professor, have helped thousands of drivers worldwide achieve their goals no matter what category. And you are always, always welcome to reach out to me. My number, my email are below. Drive safe, my friends.